One step closer, daughters of Guy. Hi! Welcome to One, One Step Closer! I'm Karin. I'm Selena. My name is Veronica. Carolyn. <laughs> or if you want to go by our nicknames, Ron I'm Ronnie. And then there's Sully, Car Car, and Yur Yur. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, right? So what we're doing today is we have this little box and we have different questions in there and uh, we just wanted to share with you more about like our sisterhood. So here we go. How can others experience this? Hmm. Like sisterhood? Mm -hmm. I think it starts with like finding, finding a, a good group of young women that you guys can really trust and grow with. The main thing that really brought us together was getting involved in ministry. You know, in order for us to have godly fellowship, we each first have to have a relationship with Jesus. Mm. And then when we have our relationship with Jesus, then we're going to be looking for other ladies who also are seeking a relationship with Jesus. When you put God first, you know, and, and everything that you do, you know, God will lead you towards those people and those friends who can become like family, like sisters. The way we started to experience this sisterhood too is like uh, somebody had to start sharing a personal inside of their life because I remember that at first we were like, yeah, hi, you know, and yeah. that would be pretty much it. But then one time we um, oh, yeah, and the casino. Oh, that's oh, it. Uh -huh. But like one time we came to visit you, Veronica and I, and we were just talking, and I, we started sharing oh, more yeah, about yeah, our yeah, personal yeah, yeah. life. Mm -hmm. And that, and like same thing with Karen, you know, sharing something more personal. We yes. were able to, you know, uh, come yeah. closer to one another. And Yeah, I think that's a very big key is that we need to be willing to be vulnerable to people mm -hmm. uh, to share those heart experiences. Because if we don't start sharing, then you know, maybe other people won't start sharing either, so. Mm -hmm. Getting involved in ministry, you know, is, a, is probably the best way to find friends that will last a lifetime, definitely. Ellie, you're next. How is this a blessing to our spiritual walk? Mm -hmm. My three sisters, they've all supported me in my Christian walk. Just by their example, like, they have influenced so much of, you know, how, um, just seeing them and seeing you know them study their bible and know so much about the bible helped me to study more about the bible and just seeing you know their um you know their convictions helped me to study out my convictions more and to know more what i believe and why i believe it um and so their example in in mission work and being so willing i remember i'd see your links she would always when we would have bible studies with our ministry, she would always have someone bringing with us. She was so friendly in order to be able to connect with people and win souls for Jesus. She's always there for me whenever I need someone to talk to. My sister, like, she is just so amazing. She's such an amazing listener. Karen encouraged me to get involved in um, mission in mission work here in the United States. Um, take a summer off and do literature evangelism. You know, Selena and all is always there to was always there to encourage me and always always there to encourage me. We actually did the took the summer off to do literature evangelism, the mission work that we were doing. We would call each other and pray together and, and we were trying to memorize Bible verses to help encourage us and then while we were there we helped encourage each other even when it got hard and it was just it was an amazing experience. This sisterhood has been such a blessing to my sister spiritual walk especially <laughs> she she's the one that introduced me to this group on campus called revive that's where i met yearling as well i remember oh, we were yeah. singing and then you had messed up and then we looked at each other we were laughing and like oh she's so cute and i don't remember exactly how we hit it off but i'm just so glad to have met you yearling like this girl is such a caring individual she's really helped me to analyze um <laughs> friendships we are like something that she's really good at is not just having friendships but maintaining them and developing them and having someone like you to really help to um be the glue be the glue yeah and to reprove me in certain ways so that i can be more christ-like she's not afraid to she does it very humbly as well if she notices something that's not quite right she comes to you with the love of god in her heart and she helps you to get rid of that mistake and to, to grow more genuinely. So you really need sisters like that who will um, help to sharpen you so that you're more like Christ. Yes. And both these individuals have done that for me. 
and so it's really so blessed. And I get the <laughs> the two of them too. So this friendship has been a blessing for me in my spiritual walk. Is because we all view the Bible differently. Like earlier, yes. we were talking about it on our way here, mm -hmm. and how you know because we're all from different backgrounds, like completely different backgrounds. You know, she was homeschooled and she grew up, you know, as a Christian with a nice spiritual family, and you know, uh, her she got converted in her way. You know, her family wow, got converted yes. and she came into the it's church. Very <laughs> yeah, and when my my, wow. my background is also completely different and we're from different um, cultural backgrounds yeah. because we're different mm -hmm. races yes. <laughs> so it's just a blessing because that really allows me to see that no matter you know what culture you might have what mm -hmm. unites us together is that we're all seeking to have Christ culture and also with um, I think modesty too <laughs> <laughs> we were able to help each other along the way because mm -hmm. we were all uh, when we first met each other our walk when it comes to modesty we had we had different views and you know we, we were we believed in it for sure mm -hmm. but as we got to you know share more things th with one another and mm -hmm. when I met people that believed like me and that also dressed modestly it encouraged me to keep on going because not everybody around you will you know dress modestly but like having other people that do it would encourage me to yes. you know, keep it going and mm -hmm. knowing that I'm not alone yeah <laughs> I remember yeah. now there was this one time where me and Yerling we were in the gazebo one time and then um I think that's where Yerling and I really began to click more we were talking about something and the subject had switched to modesty and then we were just like freaking out like oh my gosh you believe that too yeah me too so it was really nice to know like there's someone out there and you're not alone and also praying with each other uh, too helps a lot in a spiritual walk mm -hmm. having a prayer warrior I know that uh, Karen and I at one point had a similar situation and mm -hmm. we really had to get on our knees and cry out to the Lord so he can help us and direct us so that's definitely a blessing as well that we could Oh, yes, be very honest with each other too, even if it means tears. tears. So, <laughs> or, you That's <know>. okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that helps a lot too. The comfort of godly sisters is very good um, because God can't. God can comfort us in His. He He can definitely comfort us, but often He will use people mm. to comfort us. Mm -hmm. That's His preferred way because He wants to use us in His service. And I know that my sisters have helped me. To, to give me a hug or give me a smile uh, when I need it. Mm -hmm. okay. So, best sisterhood memory. Mm. <laughs> so I think it was Selena and myself and Yearly, we all just got back from a Bible study and um, we were going to visit Karin and so we went to Karin's room and, and she, we, we, not, we knocked on her door. So it was a Sunday night, normally I would just go straight back to my room to study, but instead we kind of just hung out and we laughed and we talked and we just had a really good time um, and we talked about ministry and we talked about the Bible and stuff and it was just really, it was a really good time. That was one of my favorite memories. Well, I remember one time after we buy Vespers, I ended up talking to Yearling and we talked for so long, it was maybe an hour. We just couldn't stop talking to each other because we were talking about the Bible and about uh, some things that we were convicted on because of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And it was just really uplifting to be able to talk to a godly uh, sister who was also being convicted of the same things I was. Mm -hmm. And we, were, we felt stronger because of that conversation. <laughs> that my uh, sister Veronica and I we went to see Selena. It was just great because we were able to give each other more insights of what was really going on in our personal lives. Mm -hmm. And we were like, oh, so that's why this happened, or that's why. And it was just like really exciting because that really like made us bond. You mm -hmm. and you got us closer. I came into the door one time, and Veronica was there in the entryway, and we just started talking and. You know, when I was talking to Veronica, I just saw this care about her, caring in her eyes, and um, she was just there to listen and talk, and uh, and I really appreciated that. And sometimes she would uh, come over and give me a hug, and you know that I just sensed that she was caring, and mm. I, I knew that that was the love of God in her. Mm. Uh, and also, when we had a sleepover here in this room. Veronica and I talked like for the whole night. <laughs> that was a blessing because we know I never thought it would be possible either. But that was a huge blessing too. If you guys probably remember your like former video, the shopping trip, that was super fun. I like you know just to go and spend time with my sisters and to be able to 
can get together and you know talk about like what we how our, our different convictions when it came to modesty and all these different things and how we you know and we got to really know, get to know each other and it was just so much fun we listened to music we talked about everything and it was just a beautiful you know wonderful time one of our favorite memories was yesterday we actually had a going away party for oh, our sister <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. you're so I sweet I think they had blindfolded you on the way here they did they, yes. were, they did that and I heard that she was really surprised and yes. everyone had said something that they loved about Yearling and I did not want to share anything because I didn't want to break down I'm like nope I'm not doing it I'll talk to her later I'm not gonna cry today and then I was like you know what let me share something and I'm like Yearling <laughs> and you made me almost cry too <laughs> and within five seconds of my sentence I just broke down and it was just it just that moment just looking at her at everything that we had gone through she's been such a strong pillar in my life for me so that was a day i'll never forget i'm getting some <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah i thought i would cry when you would talk too i was trying to hold it in <laughs> it was, and then i think because you started crying yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I just looked like I was trying to look at the ground and I looked at her and I'm like, ah! <laughs> How did we meet? <laughs> oh, GYC! Yeah, GYC. We, we met at GYC and so we drove down so many hours yes. in this van. Coming back up, I think it was even better. The roads were covered with ice. That friend opened their home so that we could stay there. And at that time, that's when I got to talk to Yearling more. Yes, I remember. That was actually one of the first times that we got to talk. Yeah. One thing that I wanted to learn more about uh, was modesty. So I remember I asked you about it. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, you know, I had this conviction, but I want to hear your side. And I'm still learning about it, and yeah. we bonded through that. And yeah. That was the first that, time we see, talked. that was a, that's an example of where Yearling was vulnerable. Mm -hmm. She opened up and shared what she was thinking. Because she was vulnerable, we were able to connect as friends, mm -hmm. and we. Uh, grow in sisters, sisterhood. <laughs> we actually all um, met because we. Some of us went to one to this one Christian school um, there, and then there was uh, and Yearling went to another school that was nearby, and so um, we were actually all involved in a ministry that kind of brought us together. But that's kind of a little bit later. I met all of them outside of the outside of the ministry just being in the same area um, so we all kind of came together because of we worked in the same ministry i remember when i first met karen actually um i was watching you at home on 3abn and i was like oh my 3abn is three angels broadcasting network it's like this international christian station and i remember seeing her on it and she just seemed like such a genuine person and i wanted to meet her so bad i remember when i first met her at the school i'm at now and I was like, Karen, hi, I saw you on TV, you're like famous. But I'm not a movie star. <laughs> not a movie star. <laughs> and then we had an anatomy class together. And I don't remember how our friendship started to kick off but then. But we just started to yeah. get to know each other more and more. Yeah. And you! You! Yes! You! <laughs> you! <laughs> you! <laughs> she, she's the one that introduced me to this group on campus called Revive. She said they were having a camp. <laughs> We got to know each other better because both of us were going to the prayer room here at the dorm. Oh, yeah. mm. And so there you go. Both of us were seeking um, mm. Jesus and so that's why we got to know each other. Mm -hmm. mm. Friendships like this, they don't just happen overnight. Mm. There's something that needs to yeah. be developed. Um, a concept that we can take from this from the book of Acts chapter 1. Mm. After the disciples had received the Holy Spirit, they were willing to just go out and just spread the gospel with everyone. Mm. But Christ said, after you receive the power of Him, you want to start first in Jerusalem and then Samaria and then the uttermost parts of the earth. So it mm. starts with being a witness wherever you are first. Mm. Reaching those around you, like even your, your roommate or your sister, people in your household, those are the best people that you can grow with first. And then that relationship will begin to grow wherever you go. When you are truly seeking to uh, live a Christian life, uh, you know, God will send people to you where you're at and He will give you divine appointments with those people uh, where you're going to be able to connect with them. You know, we are all seeking to go to heaven one day together, mm -hmm. but the enemy is also at work 24-7. I think of you guys like we're all an army. Mm -hmm. like. 
but battling and fighting with our word, with our sword, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're all helping each other. Right? But knowing that they're both praying, I know that I'm not alone battling it. One thing that I like that Selena says is, uh, sisters in Christ are sisters for life. <laughs> 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 that is so true. Because no matter where we go in life, right now, you know, Karen is about to graduate, I'm about to move. And, um, you know, we all are just going separate ways, like Veronica already is not longer mm -hmm. around here. Mm -hmm. But we know that even though, like, distance cannot separate us, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'll always be closer yeah. to each other. And that's one very big key that I'm finding out about friendships is that you want to, when you meet godly people, you want to maintain those friendships with them and never let them go. And they've become so close and so precious, you know, um, to me they're like my best friends. I love them and I hope that, you know, I get to see them soon. But thank you so much for watching. We all pray that you can also find a friendship that would be godly and that could help. Yes you guys in your spiritual walk as well. Okay, <laughs> bye! Bye! bye. bye. That's so strong, that's so powerful! Like, I feel like we're in that Virgil's room and that. Yeah, the conversation is like, we're in the room. You know what's crazy? Me and Connor were talking about that the other day too. Have you ever spoken to Connor? I have not this week. I wonder what she's doing. I don't know if she had told me that she was going to go on a walk today. I'm not sure. Hey, why don't we just go to the rope shop for a little bit? She's there. Oh, maybe we can, yeah, we can check and see. I think it also. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a little bit. <laughs>